Dogs are a species of animals that are categorized into hundreds of different breeds. In the 1800s, the pit bull was created by crossbreeding the traditional English bull baiting dog or English bulldog with a terrier. The English bulldog was bred to take part in a rather barbaric form of animal fighting called bull baiting where the dog controls bulls and other large animals by biting onto their faces and heads. With the rise of animal welfare laws, blood spores, as they were called, were eventually deemed inhumane and outlawed in the UK in 1835. With that ban, it was decided that concealing underground dog fighting rings will be much easier than hiding a dog fighting with a bear or a bull. So humans decided to mix the strength of the English Bulldog with the agility of a terrier, creating what they believed was the supreme breed of dogs ideal for fighting other dogs. Even though we are nearly 200 years later, all of that history has led the pit bull to where they are today, the most feared and villainized dog in the world. In the 70s, it was the Doberman. In the 90s, it was the Rottweiler. But since the 2000s, it's been the pit bull as ranked supreme. So what exactly am I saying about pit bulls? I am saying that they have been stigmatized and used unjustly by humans to fight imaginative battles for entertainment, to fight until surrender or death. What the pit bull was bred to fight until surrender is not in the dog's nature to want to fight other dogs. If there is a dog that is fighting other dogs or attacking people, that cause is always traced back to a human. Always. I work with so many pit bulls that people deem too dangerous or lost causes. I found that just like most people, it's not the dogs that are lost cause, it's that they have been taught to go against their nature. Say what you will about two dogs who don't get along, but those dogs don't hate each other. Hate is a conscious human choice. It is learned. Dogs of all different breeds can hang out and sniff each other's butts, and some might like each other more than others, but there is no hate. I often say that one of my soulmates in this life was my pit bull daddy. He has the most gentle soul I ever known. I raised him with the four most important energies a dog needs in his life. Calm, confident, love, and joy. I use calm, confident, love, and joy with any dog that I ever work with who exhibit aggressive traits, and all of them were brought back to their true nature of being one of the best companions a human being could ask for. Knowing a dog's breed means you know the cultural background for that dog, and that is it. Just because you know the cultural background or color of your neighbor's skin doesn't mean you know anything else about them. Dogs are the exact same way.